obviously rugby is a big part of my life. Muir takes two to stop it. Do some coaching as well, which is a huge part of my week. It's very niche, but I like pottery painting. So I, like we went the other week with the girls as a, like, a little group social and painted some pottery. I've got a whole fruit range. So maybe once I finish rugby, I'll go into fruit pottery making. I like to film quite a lot of clips, like through camps and stuff. I would film little clips and I have been editing them. I just love looking back on it. And that's the same with photography. Like I really like taking pictures and being able to look back on them. And I kind of make, have made some scrapbooks as well, which has been really nice. My two lovely flatmates, they are great people, as well as rugby players. So I live with Sam Monaghan, who is Irish second row. And then I also live with Elizabeth Golden, who is a Kiwi fly half. Sam is great, like, she's doing a lot of DIY at the minute, like putting up blinds. She did this room, she sanded and varnished her floor, which took like over a week and she had to plaster it all. I would say that Sam is a mixologist or a cocktail maker. She loves making a little espresso martini, which we all like to enjoy in, in moderation, of course. Lizzie likes to work. Well, I don't think she does like to work. She likes to pretend she's working. No, she does actually work really hard. She has like an England job and a New Zealand job. Being a lawyer, long hours as in into the night because she is working at, in her New Zealand time zone. Lizzie also loves to cook. If anyone's cooking us a meal, it will be Lizzie. Like we all go round to each other's houses. Lizzie's normally the main chef. The rest of us will be like sous chefs slash clearing up duties. And then she also loves a scampi fry. Not only have we got like our, us three as a great household, we also have three amazing neighbours. We are yet to do it, but we are really excited to start an Instagram account between our two houses. We haven't really thought too much about it, but it'll just be a little private, funny account where we can post a bit about what we're doing. Tuk Tuk, I think, was brought over from France. It's just slowly trickled the way through. And most Prem clubs probably know Tuk Tuk, but it's a bit like frustration. Like, it's hard to explain, but the aim is to get around the whole board you also try and kill each other with little counters. You use a pack of cards to play and the different cards mean different things. So Lizzie made the Toy Story board just before Christmas, I think she finished it off. The most cutthroat player is definitely Mo. Um, she's pretty savage, she loves killing people. Um, serious? <laughs> right, no. And she takes no mercy, so it's, uh, yeah, it's always interesting playing with her. The key reason why I moved to the club was their off-field stuff like the culture within Gloucester from an outside perspective, just so close knit and that really appealed to me. Coming in definitely is exactly the same, like the culture is so good. And I do think when you've got such a great relationship off the pitch, it does reflect onto the pitch and you can see that in our performances week in, week out. We haven't spoken about it too much, but we want to win the Prem. I think it will just change a lot of people's perceptions of the game in Gloucester and hopefully Look, the Gloucester fans are great and will always get down to the, the men's games. I think it will just bring in a whole heap of new spectators to the women's game, which is really exciting in Gloucester. But also, it will just be good for the whole game. It won't be a Saris or Harlequins win, hopefully. So it will just show the world that it's not just those London clubs that can win.